When the user selects one of the Apollo missions from our main list, we want to show information about the mission, its image, its mission badge, and all the astronauts that were on the crew along with their roles. The first two of those aren't too hard, but the second one requires more work because we have to match up crew IDs with crew details across our two JSON files. Let's start simple and work our way up. Make a new Swift UI view called missionview.swift. Initially, this will just have a mission property so we can show the mission badge and description, but shortly we'll add more to it. In terms of layout, this thing needs to have a scrolling vStack with a resizable image for the mission badge, then a text view, then a spacer, so everything gets pushed to the top of the screen. We'll use Geometry Reader to set the maximum width of the mission image, although through some trial and error, I found the mission badge worked best when it wasn't quite full width. Somewhere between 50% and 75% width looked better, to avoid it becoming weirdly big on the screen. Put this code into missionview.swift now. Let mission, mission, geometry reader, geometry in, scroll view, dot vertical, vstack, image, self, dot mission, dot image, dot resizable, dot scale to fit, dot frame, max width, geometry, dot size, dot width, times 0.7, dot padding, dot top text self dot mission dot description dot padding spacer min length 25 and then dot navigation bar title text mission dot display name display mode dot inline now notice how space is created with min length 25 this isn't something we've used before but ensures the spacer has a minimum height of at least 25 points. This is helpful inside scroll views because the total available height is flexible. A spacer would normally take up all available remaining space, but that has no meaning inside a scroll view. We could have accomplished the same result using spacer.frame min height 25, but using spacer min length 25 has the advantage that if you ever change your stack orientation, if you go from a V stack to a H stack, for example, then it effectively becomes spacer.frame min width 25. Anyway, with our new view in place, the code will no longer build, all because of the preview struct below it. That thing needs a mission object passed in so it has something to render. Fortunately, our bundle extension is available here as well. Static let missions array of mission equals bundle.main.decode missions.json. And then Mission, mission zero. If you look in the preview, you'll see that's a good start, but the next part is trickier. We want to show the list of astronauts who took part in the mission below the description. Let's tackle that next. 